Hi there, this is Dong Wen. Today I'm going to talk about how to use my Conveyor Trajectory Designer, which is an inventor app to design a Conveyor Trajectory. So now we have uh, Autodesk Inventor open. We want to open file, which is the prototype of my failed Conveyor Trajectory. You can find out the location mm, on my computer over here. And this is an engineered field camera trajectory 3D model. So to double click. By default, when you open the, file, the prototype model, it will open up to the app to show you the interface. Okay, here it is. But later on, you may not you may not want the, this app to be to show up uh, when you open up the file. So what you can do, you cancel this uh, for now, close the the user interface, you change the look, change the view of the model as you wish. I look at the look at the the front view to make it easier to see the change when we play with the user interface. So what we can do to Disable the app to be show up next time. You use the go to manage menu and then you go to event triggers over here. And after open document, now you see next rules. You just check off the over here. You check off, check off the trajectory designer. Okay. And okay. So next time it won't open up. For example, if I close it here now, and then we open up the same file. So now the file, oh, oh sorry, because I didn't save. Okay, anyway, that's the idea, you have to save. Let's do it again. Let's make it uh, manage, even trigger over here, change, disable. Okay, and then save. So now the setting has been saved to the model prototype file. Now if I close it and then open, sorry, let's open. Okay, so now this open file only without showing up the user interface. But if you want to do the real design, now you can go to iLogic browser. If you don't have this open, you can go to manage and then I click on iLogic Browser. It will, sh um, it will show, show you the iLogic Browser. So here you can see that there is a rule which is the most important one for us. Uh, right click here and then run the rule. It will show you the user interface. So here on the inter user interface, there is um, three groups of um, input data. It's per um, that's uh, geometry data, process data, and the material. And all the text in blue are for your input. All those in black, there are the either the model resulted, either the um, parameters from the model or um, some result um, by my calculation inside of this app. But one thing you want to point out is the design cr criteria over here. I have a lot um, basically four options. The first one is for initialization, which uh, you normally don't you don't use it. But then the one, two, and the three are for your design. Basically, that um, allow you to se to select two of the three prim two, two of the three key parameters, which are capacity or, or throughput, and the load percent load percentage and the belt speed. You can, as long as you know two of those three, you can calculate the, the third. So you can, depending on what you want to do, you can specify and make, make choice here. And then you can play and change the other parameters and then run the result. So, but one thing to remember here, when you want to click apply, you have to double click because um, the parameters have to be sent to the model and then it will have to come back again to the user interface to show it properly.
so that's how to use this uh, interface uh, in another video I will talk about um, some sample samples okay that's it thank you bye